today I'm going to show you how to animate a meta human in Unreal Engine 5. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Click on games. We're going to do a third person and I'm just going to leave the project name right here as default and then create. Once we're in that template, we're going to go ahead and go to our content right here. Quixel Bridge. Now for you to actually see the meta human on the left side, you actually have to log in. So let's log in by clicking on this icon. I'm going to sign in with Epic Games. So as you can see, once you sign in, you're going to see this icon right here, which is actually your meta human. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to maximize this so you can see everything. So what we'll do is just go ahead and just download one of my custom ones. So I'm going to click on this guy, Kevin, and I'm going to change this quality to high quality. And let's go ahead and download this. And since I already downloaded it, I'm good. And I'm going to add this. Now, as long as you have an Unreal Engine 5 project open, that's actually going to go ahead and import that character from uh, Quixel Bridge directly to your project. Okay, you're going to start seeing a lot of stuff popping up, like missing project settings. So go ahead and click enable on all of them. Now, while we're waiting to compile some shaders, let's go ahead and go to the Epic Marketplace to grab some animations from the store. I'm going to go to Epic Games content. So if I go to the last page, page 7, you're going to see an animation starter pack. I'm going to click on that. Now, whenever you are buying or downloading any animations from the Marketplace, make sure they are retargeted to the UE4 mannequin. So I'm going to add this to our project and find that project you're working on. In our case, it's my project too. Click on down right here, 4.26, and then add project. And this is going to add this animation starter pack to your project. So after it's finished compiling shaders, go ahead and restart your Unreal Engine 5 project, and it's going to bring you back up in here. So what we'll do is go ahead and look for that meta human we have. I'm going to click on meta human, Kevin, and then we're going to drag and drop his BP into the scene here. Okay, so once that's done compiling shaders, let's go ahead and go back to our content folder right here. Now, if you can't see this, go ahead and do control space bar and then dock in layouts. You'll see this here permanently. We're gonna go to Adam Starter Pack right here. We can just do Iron Sights right here, double click that. I'm gonna go to the skeleton right here in the top right. And we're gonna choose Select Rig Humanoid right here. And since this is a UE4 mannequin, like I said earlier, it's already retargeted the bones to the correct one, so that's good to go. Next thing you're gonna do is go to Skeleton Tree, go to this gear icon, show retargeting options, and everything is good here. You could root, you want animation, pelvis, you want animation, and the rest should be skeleton. Go ahead and switch this to eye case can be animation so leave that as is i'm gonna go ahead and save this and i'm gonna minimize it so the next thing we do is go to the meta human double click the body and we're gonna go to the skeletal mesh right here double click that and again we're gonna go to the skeleton and we're gonna go character bones all hierarchy so we can kind of see the pose he's in so to do that again we're gonna go select rig select humanoid rig now the way the meta human skeleton is set up we're gonna have to change the spine so go to spine go to two three and then for the three, we're actually going to do the four. And if you want to see the spine or the bone names, go to character, bones, bone names. You're going to see all the bones. So we just change the two, three, and four instead of the one because the one is like way down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so let's go to skeleton tree again and then show retargeting options right here. And yeah, we have to change this to animation. We're going to copy the same exact way and then scroll down. For this one, you can just go right click. So you're going to go shift, right click retargeting skeleton basically changing everything else to skeleton here and i'm going to go back to the retarget manager now i don't know if you can tell but the meta humans a post is a little bit wider than our post here so what we can do is since this is a custom meta human there's actually a preset that we can use to copy the same exact post as this with the ue4 meta human so click on modify post click on this none and we're going to do retarget no, uh, normal weight retarget post i'm going to click on that and i'm going to import it as you can see it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a little bit wider click on modify use current post save and then minimize now to retarget the animations all you have to do is right click retarget anim asset duplicate anim asset and retarget and now you're going to see this meta human base skeleton because we put it in humanoid rig so it's here and everything is set up now you can't see that i'm not sure that's probably a bug but go ahead and retarget and you're going to see it so to test this out we can either apply it here in the scene but what i'm going to do is since we do make movies i'm going to go to cinematics add a level sequence just do a regular one i'm going to add kevin to that by just clicking him actor add kevin we're going to delete the meta human control rigs because we don't need that right now both of them and i'm going to wasd to kevin so we can see him a little bit closer i'm going to change the camera speed to like one because it is too fast so i'm going to click on kevin i'm going to go to body right here track animation and we're going to see that aim space iron sights now and that's pretty much it. That is how you animate a meta human character in Unreal Engine 5. Now, if you want to see more of these videos, please do like and subscribe. Additionally, there is a thanks button in the bottom of this window. But if you want to really support the channel, go ahead and check out my courses on Udemy, Selfie, and ArtStation.